Hello everyone! Today I'm going to make a bread recipe and this is a French bread recipe that turns out really soft and wonderful. I found it on the YouTube channel called Just Loves It. I'll put a link there for you. But I tried this last week making bread from all-purpose flour and now I'm going to try it making it with whole wheat flour. So I've made, I'm making half of this recipe so the first thing I'm going to do is put in one and a quarter cups of warm water. Now I'm going to put half a tablespoon, sorry, of yeast. Now you can use the fast rising yeast. I just have the regular dry yeast, dry, dry active yeast. And then you're going to swoosh that around before you add your other ingredients. Just try, I'm going to try to make that dissolve. Now because this is French bread, uh, you can also add some sugar to that. So I'm going to do that, but I'm, all, I'm also going to first put some salt. Actually, I'm going to put the sugar first. Hold on. I'm going to use a tablespoon of brown sugar. You could put as much as a quarter cup of sugar if you like. In fact, maybe I'll just do a tiny bit more. Let's call that a tablespoon and a half. Mix that to dissolve that. Then two teaspoons of salt. Let me just find my teaspoon measuring spoon. Here we go. You know what? I'm going to put like a teaspoon and a half of salt. And you continue to mix. Now comes the flour, and this is a one cup measurement. You're going to need three cups of flour for this recipe. On the uh, Josh Loves It site, he uses six cups because he, he's making more, but I'm going to make less. So I'm going to put uh, two of the three cups in now. And mix that around. And you're going to be able to see as well, do you really need quite as much flour? Do you, maybe you need less. Again, I'm doing, this is whole wheat flour, so I don't know if this is going to change the consistency. It already looks like it's thicker to me than when I did the all-purpose flour. So maybe I won't use the full three cups, actually. I'm going to use like three and a half. But that's less than a half, probably about a third of a cup. Still not even quite using all of that. Now is when you want to get your hands a bit dirty. I'm just going to start mixing this in. And you'll just judge for yourself if you need to add more flour. Does it need to be firmer? Is it too wet? Do you need more water? You know, just play it by ear. Again, I'm trying this uh, as a whole wheat flour recipe, so that might change the dynamic. Okay. This seems right here to be hmm, fairly good, but I'm going to add a bit more flour. A bit moist. So maybe I'll end up with like the full half cup, like for two and a half cups. Maybe even the three. Okay, I'm going to add this last bit. That's going to give it about just about two and a half cups, I think. Possibly a little more. But definitely shy of three cups. Okay, so you're going to mix your ball together like this. And then you're going to set it aside to rest and rise, which you can do between an hour and two hours. So I'm going to check on this. In an hour. One last step before you leave it. Cover your bowl of dough and set it aside for an hour.
All right, I'll be back. Okay, it's just been a bit over two hours, and it's rising, but not as much as when I did it with the all-purpose flower, and it could be because I kind of forgot a step, which was to really knead this a lot. So, in any case, at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to take, I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to form, um, get, get two pieces. And I'm going to flatten out, roll, shape, and then leave it again to, to, to knead, sorry, to rise. So hopefully once I've done that, this will come out a little bit better. So let's get on to, to this one. You're going to flower your surface. And you're going to roll out your dough. Now I might need a bit more flour. And I'm going to try, before doing this with the, the other part of the, uh, the dough, really needing that a lot more. Okay, so based on Josh's recipe, you're going to take this. And I didn't do this step with the last one either. We, it helped, my daughter helped me, and we just formed balls, long bread roll sort of things. So you're going to just make long rolls out of it. I'm going to do what we did the last time too. And that's to cut it. We made four rolls. Okay. And Josh says to put the seam side down. I've already lightly buttered my tray here with some Earth Balance Vegan Spread. Okay. I'm going to put those two. And I'm going to get the other ones done. Do just like that. Actually, let's do this. Maybe I'll, I need a little more flour, but I'm going to knead this a bit more, and we're going to see if this rises better. You know, I'm not an expert bread maker, but I did try Josh's, Josh's recipe, and it turned out so well. I'll just put a picture in there so you can see, and it was super delicious. And I didn't do the whole flatten out and roll because my daughter helped me and she made the shape she liked and the bread was delicious. Okay, so just kneading this a bit more. And then I'm going to roll these pieces up, put them on there, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I have my four rolls right here. These are the last two that I tried to knead a little bit more first. Those are the first pieces I did. And I'm just going to cover this, and I'm going to let it sit for another hour or so. I'll see what it looks like. Maybe two hours, which means I'll have my bread ready late at night. Perfect for a little quick snack before bed. Don't do as I d do. <laughs> Eat your bread responsibly. Okay, I'll be back. All right, it's been just about two hours and 15 minutes more that this has been covered and rising. So you can see the bread dough has gotten bigger in size. Now, when I did it before, it really seemed to expand a lot more than this. So what this tells me is that maybe with the whole wheat flour, you need to put more yeast. So instead of putting half a tablespoon, I should have put a full tablespoon. And I'll try it again doing that. However, I'm going to put it in the oven. And I've heated the oven, preheated it to 350. So it's ready for my bread my bread dough. It'll be bread when it's done. So I'm going to put that in there. Watch it for about 20 minutes. Mmm, this smells good. So it's been 20 minutes and I've just taken my bread out of the oven. And it's already whole wheat so it's not the easiest to tell if it's golden brown. But you can see that there's golden brown to it. And I mean, I don't know if I should leave it in longer, but I'm going to cut it and test it. Now one of the steps you want to take, actually, is I have some of my Earth Balance Vegan Spread here. You can use butter if you like, of course. And put some on a brush. And brush into your loaves. So that that buttery goodness seeps in. 
just always makes it so much nicer. Now my feels soft. I mean, it feels nice. As soon as I've done this, I'm going to do a cut test. Okay, so just cover this as much as you want so that the butter or your vegan butter just oozes in. Alright, so let's try cutting the bread. Now this is the biggest one. I'm going to just cut that right down here. It's very warm, of course, just out of the oven. Ah, hot! <laughs> it's hot. But I just want to cut it. Okay, it slices well. Uh, it's a bit too hot for me in all reality. I don't want to burn my hands off. But I'm just trying to get a look at, at the consistency in there. I think it's good. Um, you know, you can leave it in longer if you want it to be cooked a bit more, I guess. But really, I don't think it needs more than that. It's soft, it's spongy, and I'm going to taste that as soon as it cools down. Okay, it's hot, definitely. But I had to rip this piece off nonetheless. I was dying to taste it. And it's really good. Is there anything better than fresh bread? I know there are a lot of things as good as, but fresh bread is so delicious. And this is fresh whole wheat bread. So whole wheat French bread. There's the consistency. If you make sandwiches, it's perfect. Little mini subs, whatever you want to do. Oh, goodness. I, you know, have this with a little bit of jam. Um, in any case, there you go. Very easy to make this. And I think it turned out perfectly. Maybe the consistency for whole wheat bread just isn't the same as for bread from all-purpose flour. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you try this. And till the next video, see you later.